Good afternoon, everybody. This afternoon, the pop-up that I'm going to make is the 180-degree box with, with a parallel plane from the elements of pop-up. And this is a combination of the very first pop-up I showed you, which is the 90-degree the parallel fold. You'll see it in a minute. And the, the um, parallel open box. Okay. So this is my main piece. I'll fold it. And as you can see, this is where I've added the 90 degree parallel fold right here. Okay, see how there's the 90 degree parallel fold right there. All right, let's glue this together. While that's gluing, I forgot to show you the uh, downloaded pattern. So this is from popupbooks.com under die lines box with a parallel plane. All right. And now here's our box. Just like the one we built before, the basic box structure. And we've just added this 90 degree fold. And you'll see how that works in a minute. So I'll slot this in. A little bit of glue here. that in place and then the structure works like this flatten it up and pull the, the parallel or the uh, 90 degree parallel fold up in a position like that Let's see put a little bit of glue on each one of these tabs Some nice pressure on that, hold it in place. And the idea here is this is how we start to build complexity or off, off of a, off one of the basic structures, off one of the the most basic pop-up structures is to is to add layers to it. And there's a few ways to do it. One of the ways is with this parallel fold. Okay. Really needs to glue in place well. So at least 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Is it glued together? We'll see in a minute. Still not great, but there we go. Push, get some pressure on those glue tabs in there. Okay, so see how the 90 degree parallel fold works? Made a little step there, and now I'll just take a plain, a simple piece of paper, put a bit of glue on it, and I can glue this in place like this. Okay, I can even glue it in place like that if I wanted to. But I'll glue it to, on the side so that the plane is parallel to the side of the box. Again, flatten it down, make sure it works flat. Give it some pressure. And there you go. Now you've, you've added a layer of dimension onto the basic structure of the box. There you go.